The West Michigan Lakeshore SolidWorks User Group has been putting on, should we say, a mini 3D experience world for years. With the help of some sponsors such as Dassault Systems, with their Swoggin Manager Dan Wagner and Champions Manager Matt Clegg, other sponsors like Trimec, Go Engineer, Oakridge Systems, Swiss Solutions, Broadview Product Development, Smooth Logics, Fog Filler Company, Logicraft, Dell, and of course, the vibrant SolidWorks community. But why? Why do the leaders lead? Why does the community gather? Why do so many people flock to this meeting and others like it? This is the heartbeat of their mission. SolidWorks was one of the first uh, professional communities that opened up. Um, that were like, great, so you like SolidWorks, you do SolidWorks, welcome to the group. SolidWorks has changed my life, has helped me develop professionally, and I want that for others. I want to share that with other people. I, I think it's uh, a lot of the people here are, we share a lot in, in common. We've got a lot of things in common. So a lot of people are here perhaps to network with others, learn from others. Some are perhaps, you know, new to the industry, perhaps, you know, students that are looking for the growth, um, learning, and or possibilities, you know, um, as far as job, looking for job opportunities. So there's a lot that can, you know, happen here at these meetings. There's a lot of um, benefits to being here. I think these events are really nice, like being a beginner, um, just looking around, I can tell that people here really care to you know, share their information and try to help others out, so I think it's a really great thing to implement in more places or more local, like just having more information available to you is always nice. So. Like everybody here just seems so willing to share, that if you just ask, it seems like anyone would tell you anything that you want to know. The community building those relationships. Uh, myself, I have several relationships with yourself and uh, other you know, businesses, uh, admins from other businesses. It makes a great uh, contact list. When I run into an issue, I can reach out and see if my peers have seen that. and uh, you know, it makes us know that we're not alone in the world. Um, I think it's important because they can see things that maybe I'm not teaching them. They can see extra tips and tricks that they can show others and show me in some cases. Uh, I think it's great too that they can see potential employers and see what options are out there. I organized the Tech Summit because it's the opportunity to get a whole bunch of different companies and skill sets and ways of thinking together into one place at one time. And even somebody like me as an expert that has the, the skills behind the scenes, there's not one event that I don't host where I don't learn something from them. You know, as a group, when we come together, we learn from each other and SolidWorks learns from us. So, you know, there's lots of times where, as a software company, they want to make things better. This gives them a, a group that they can go solicit feedback from as well. Uh, that's going to give them honest feedback, right? When something's broken, we'll let them know it's broken. And when it's working great, we'll let them know it's working great. Um, and everybody needs that. Nobody needs a yes man in their life all the time. So they need people to let them know, you know where things are at, and they rely on this group. It's really great to be a part of that. They, they listen to you. Um, they want you to understand enhancements that are important to them. Um, and I feel like that in other uh, companies, other CAD programs, it might be just they're trying to play catch up. SolidWorks realizes that it, there is a community and is willing to fund and invest in that community. And that's not something I've seen in any other software or space. And it's it's almost like a fan club for a, a movie series in a way. It's, you know, everybody that uses the program that comes to these kinds of events loves the base program and wants to be better at it, wants to know more about it, wants to be better, faster at it, all those things in combined. The ability to, to get live feedback from somebody and to see it hands-on, being able to ask live questions and to bounce bounce questions off and, and bounce ideas off of other people face-to-face, uh, -face. just that, that personal meeting uh, uh, the one-on-one -on -one stuff and in a group setting like that it's just I think it's more valuable than trying to read or, or learn something by watching a video online. Yes you can you can watch one of the great videos by some of these uh, fantastic engineers out there 
Uh, but getting a, a response or a question answered in the detail that you might need is very, very hard to do online. You won't find another bunch of people that are passionate for, for the software and that are, you know, people that like to give back to the community, like to volunteer and help, help others, you know, share knowledge. You won't find this anywhere else. I, I think it goes back to the value again. There's 30 hours of technical content in the SOLIDWORKS and, you know, peripheral space at this event. It's more content than you know, any company is going to reasonably buy for their entire engineering department and a breadth of topics of all different kinds of things. So there's something here for everybody that they can take something away from. So you know, just in the quality and the quantity of the content that we offer, it makes it very easy for a company to justify the time and expense to go to it because you know, it's a huge return on that time and investment. You're getting a lot of knowledge in that, in that day. Ultimately, we all have to ask questions at some point. We all start at zero at some point. So where do we go for those answers? What, uh, what resources do we have? You know, can we get it via Google search? Sometimes, oftentimes not. You know, that's not great for really in-depth content, but you can come to an event like this and sit through an hour-long class on a specific topic or a series of classes on this topic and really take some really valuable knowledge away from it. If you're a user out there who's a regular SOLIDWORKS user and you've thought about coming to an event like this, a SOLIDWORKS user group someplace, it's absolutely worth your time to come in. So as far as the SWOG meeting goes, find one and go. 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 Encuentre un grupo y vaya. Find one and go. Find one and go. Why is a question that speaks to the hearts of what makes this community so special. A shared passion for innovation, collaboration, and the power of collective knowledge.